Hi guys, I'm Wiley. And I'm Trin. And we are back again with some special guests. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. I'm Rindy Lee, number three. <laughs> I'm Makaya Jenkins, number 23. Awesome. So we got some girls from our basketball team. So we heard that your guys' playoffs are Thursday. Are you guys, how are you guys feeling about that? Pretty excited, but nervous at the same time. Nervous at the same time? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, excited because we made it, but also nervous because if we lose one time, it's over. Yeah. Dang. Can't lose. No pressure. No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a bit of like a sports wrap up because your season is coming to a close. So to start off, what was your most intense game this season and why do you think it was so intense? I'd say our most intense game was our first home game against Mesa. We went to triple overtime. Yeah. Dang. And we ended up losing, but it was very... The intense. crowds were going wild. Yeah. It was intense. Yeah. Everyone was on their feet, cheering. Yeah. That mm -hmm. sounds crazy. So how do you guys feel about the outcome of that game? We could definitely learn from it about the defensive stance and where to be and how to help. There are good things and bad things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what game were you most excited for this season? The, I think the most exciting one was the Healy Ridge game. Mm -hmm. It was our road trip. We, it was pretty close the whole game. Um, we ended up winning, and it was a good road trip back. Nice. Hey. It's also odd because we didn't have much of a crowd on our side because it was four, like oh, four yeah. hours. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. Yeah. So it was pretty much the whole crowd going against us, but it was nice to win. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's good. awesome. So what is one game that you guys think that you could have um, done better with and why? And like, or like, what would you say that you would do different next time to change either what you learned from the game or like the overall outcome? Westwood. Westwood. Yeah. The away game at Westwood, yeah. we were up by one and they hit a buzzer beater three. And I don't think we trained on how to properly defend that and we didn't have timeouts mm -hmm. we didn't think we needed one either yeah but we were too close up defensively when we should have been mm -hmm. back on their side yeah okay. we didn't communicate enough no. yeah yeah the hindsight's good yeah okay. <laughs> how did you guys feel about the season overall um i think it was it wasn't bad it was pretty good like mm -hmm. especially with having like mostly freshmen on the team and only like four juniors yeah no seniors anymore yeah mm -hmm. could have gone better there was just a lot of close games we didn't lose by much on like region games but mm -hmm. but the score is the score i mean yeah. if you lose you lose <laughs> yeah what would you guys say uh was the game that you guys had the most fun at this season Scott. Skyline or Healy Ridge? They're both pretty Yeah, good. Skyline and Healy Ridge were both fun. What made them so fun? Like, just the crowds and playing together as a team. Yeah. But a better team basketball, I'd say, yeah. both of those games instead of individually. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Um, And what was your guys' favorite moment from the season? The away game? Yeah. Healer Ridge. Mm -hmm. I think everyone really enjoyed the road trip, not expecting yeah. to enjoy being on a bus for four hours, but <laughs> yeah. everyone got to talk a lot. We got Chick fil A on the ride home, which everyone nice. was excited about. Yes. And just like driving home after the win was important because no yeah. one wanted yeah. to have a four hour drive after a lose. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's it for our interview. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And now we're on to announcements. The Professional Friday Arts and Media Industry Fair is this Friday, February 17th, during third period in the auditorium lobby. We have industry professionals from Visage Creative, City of Tempe, Mesa Contemporary Arts Museum, Conservatory of Recording Arts and Sciences, East Valley Children's Theater, and other organizations joining us to share their expertise with students. Registration has closed for this event, but students who signed up will receive their wristbands to attend during period three on Thursday. For more information or to join the wait list, you can reach out to Ms. Frazee, the CTE career coach. The bookstore will close early this coming Tuesday and Thursday. Hours are Tuesday, February 22nd, um, 7.45 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And Wednesday, the 23rd, 7.45 a.m. to noon. And Thursday, the 24th, 7.45 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. We will resume normal hour hours on Friday, the 25th. 
Red Sea is hosting the Sadie Hawkins Dance on Saturday, February 25th, 2023 from 7 to 9 p.m. in the gym. The theme for the night is dynamic duos. Dress up in costume for the theme with a date or a group of friends. Tickets are only $10 and can be purchased on GoFan or in the bookstore. Guest tickets are $15 and guest passes can be picked up in the bookstore and must be returned by Wednesday, February 23rd. We can't wait to see you all there. Next week is the Sadie Spirit Week. Monday is Cornball Mismatch Day. <clears throat> Tuesday is Barbecue Dads versus Soccer Moms. Wednesday is <clears throat> sorry, anything but a backpack day. Thursday is Athletes per- versus Mathletes. And we end the week on Friday with Dogs Out Day oh, wearing open-toed night. shoes. Tag cool. at Red Mountain Student Section in your Amazing Spirit Day fits. Dogs Out Day? Oh. That's exciting, I guess. Good night. Okay. <laughs> yep. Missing something? Did you know that lost and found items such as water bottles, clothes, and bags are in the bookstore? If you have lost a water bottle this year and haven't come to look for it in the bookstore, please go see them. They have 70 <laughs> bottles waiting for their owners. Attention all Red Mountain students. The Cultural Ambassadors Club needs your help with donating school supplies for learning kits for elementary age refugee children. During the month of February, they are collecting colored pencils, colored markers, math and alphabet flowers flashcards, small English dictionaries, pencil boxes, and glue sticks. Many of these can be purchased at the dollar store, and you can drop off those items to Miss Crow Packin's room in 242. Learning kits will be donated to the Welcome to America Project, a nonprofit organization that serves refugees who have recently been relocated to the Phoenix area through the U.S. State Department. Seniors, have you ordered your cap and gown yet? Justin's will be at the school on March 22nd to deliver caps and gowns. If you do not order by February 24th, they may run out of your size. So stop procrastinating and get it done. Go to Justin's.com and search Red Mountain High School. Order. Be ready. Graduation will be great. Mountain Lions. With issues like climate change and the refugee crisis facing the world today, it can be difficult for high schoolers to make a meaningful difference. In Model Model UN, you can represent a country to address real-world problems head-on in a mock debate format, mirroring the real United Nations. Meetings are every Monday from 3.30 to 4.30 in Miss Crow Packin's room in 2.42, and we'll see you there. Club Diversity meets today during during both lunchroom lunches in room 252 at 11:50 and 12:45. Come learn how to make a difference in your community. If you have any questions, see Senor Harama in room 255 or Mr. Wetton in room 284. And that is it for your announcements today, guys. We'll, we'll see you on the next episode. Adios. <laughs>